Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I'm going to be telling you guys why Infinite Warfare is going to have supply drops. So this background gameplay is the free supply drops that you get if you have the season pass. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I get some really cool weapons uh, and really cool skins. So let me tell you guys why I know it's going to be in Infinite Warfare. And it's because of money. Activision has made the most amount of money in Call of Duty in the past two years with Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3. So, in Advanced Warfare, as you guys know, or maybe you haven't played it yet, but you could actually get weapons that were better than stock weapons. And it made people want to buy them. That was the thing. People were like, I want to get the ASM1 speakeasy, so I'll buy some crates and I'll open them up. Some supply drops. And that made them a lot of money. Almost, like, I would definitely say it's doubled, if not tripled, what they usually make in a year. So they had to do it in Black Ops 3. But Black Ops 3, if in the beginning, if you can remember, said we're only going to do skins. We're only going to do stuff like that. Something that doesn't impact gameplay. And then they kind of snuck in the knives or the melee weapons. People are like, okay, it, it's the same thing as a knife. But now, they've just went straight to weapons, and I think that's ridiculous, but money, that's why I know it's going to be an inv inf Infinity Ward, Infinity Ward's next game, Advanced Warfare and Infinite Warfare, those two games are going to be a tongue twister for me for life, but it will be an Infinite Warfare, you can go ahead and guess on that, and I know it's going to be guns, it's going to be real guns that you can get, I don't think they're going to mess around with skins at the beginning, and if they don't do that, I'm going to be really, really surprised. Like, almost to the point of where I congratulate them for not wanting to be greedy and want to take everyone's money for what they have. And, you know, even if it is in there, you know there's going to be a way to buy them. Maybe not at first, like Black Ops 3, but it's such a money maker. As a business person, it, it does not make sense to not have it, so... You got to deal with it. I mean, I hate it. I mean, Black Ops 3, it wasn't that bad until, 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 until they added guns. And it wasn't that bad with the MX Grand, I think it's called, because it's almost like a Shiva. But what really got me was the MP40 and the new FAMAS that they just added in. I think that's crazy. I do like melee weapons. I think it should stay melee weapons and only melee weapons and camos. I think that's really cool, but there should be a way that you can sell whatever you have. So, like, I just got transgression camo just a second ago. I should be able to sell that if I don't want it to a friend, like, or trade it or something. Something needs to happen like that. The Skull Splinter, brand new weapon they just added in. I should be able to trade that if I want to. Like, give me your XM Grand or MX Grand for the Skull Splinter. That should be a thing. And I hope Infinity Ward... They know what they're doing, and hopefully they'll have some kind of trading system. I think it would be really cool. I would like that. I just really, really don't want gun variants back. But who knows? Tell me what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.